Hello, my name is Professor with double S dot engineer. I always write it in Spanish, ingeniero. Okay, today I'm here uh, to teach you a cross product. Okay, cross product. There's many people who call it a vector product and also a Gibbs vector product, okay? But we, we will call it cross product. I'm going to explain you everything you need to know about cross product. When this video is finishing, uh, you will be like me, like teachers, okay? So, you need to know that a cross product is a binary operation on two vectors in three-dimensional space, okay? Only in three-dimensional space. And it results in a vector which is perpendicular to both of the vectors being multiplied and therefore normal to the plane containing them, okay? You understand, for example, we have two vectors. U, this is U, okay? And V, okay? They are contained in this plane, okay? They are contained in this plane, for example, P, okay? And you need to know that the vec the cross product would be in a perpendicular direction of these two vectors and uh, it's touching the point where the where those vectors are crossing okay this point here okay uh, what do you need to know about it's always the note like this u cross v okay some people also denote, denote it like this with this kind of triangle but we will use this cross okay and a uh, how could you know uh, which, dire di which direction uh, is the arrow pointing? If this way, up or down? Uh, you need to know it uh, by using the right rule hand, okay? The right hand rule. How does this work? They are, they, they are asking me for U cross V. So first is U and then second is V. So we need to put our hand, our fingers in the direction of U and by the shortest way go to V. So we could go this way is the long way or this way is the short way. It's, this angle is alpha, okay? So the short way, uh, alpha, it's an angle between 0 degrees and 180. You see, it's the shortest way. So we put our fingers in the direction of U because it's the first here and then we go to V in the shortest way like this you see and we close our hand and the way our thumbnail is pointing to is the the direction of the of the cross product okay so we will call the cross product here W okay so W is going upwards you see because of the right hand rule from u to v so my thumbnail is pointing upwards okay so what else do you need to know you need to know if they would ask me for v cross u we would make here the right hand rule from v to u because B, V is first, but, but by the shortest way. Like, we would put our fingers like this. My, my hand is now upside down, so we would go to V by the shortest way. You see, my thumbnail is pointing downwards. So, uh, this uh, I, I'm calling W prime would go downwards you see w prime okay so what else do you need to know 
you need to know uh, the magnitude of the of the vector of the cross vector you can calculate it uh, like this it's the magnitude of u multiplied by the magnitude of v multiplied by the sin okay the sin of the angle that uh, involves the two vector okay is this the measure of the smaller angle between these two vectors sin of alpha okay and this is the the magnitude of the the cross product okay and what's the magnitude well is the distance between here from here is the distance is the length better is the length of this is the length you see here my the arrow is the length of this vector okay of the cross product because this is the cross product don't forget it okay so uh, you can also calculate uh, this uh, this vector the cross product by a determinant of a matrix okay I think it's much better to calculate it by the determinant of the matrix than by this formula so you could choose or this formula or the determinant of the of the formal matrix if you like it better I like it better with the matrix okay I'm going to show you an example and then you will uh, learn a lot okay here I put my base x y and z okay and I put here for example this vector u here is the uh, 3 this is 3 and here I'm going to put uh, V okay this is 1 and this is also 1 okay and well you can see this is 45 degrees because if this is 1 and this is 1 this is 45 degrees but you could calculate it by trigonometry it's very easy so my vector u it's it is three zero zero because it's on the c the direction okay my vector v is sorry this is x this is z and this is y okay the my vector v is one one zero okay so how can we calculate uh, this the cross product of this by the determinant okay first we need to make the right hand rule okay they ask me for u cross v so from u to v by the shortest way is from here to here so fingers like that I cross my hand I close my hand and my thumbnail is pointing upward so w is pointing up okay this is W so I can make my matrix Y so, sorry I J K this is the base the canonic base so here is I here is J and here is K you can see my vectors videos if you don't understand this because there I explained that and here you put the first the first vector they say u u cross v so first is u and then is v so i put here u 3 0 0 i put here v 1 1 0 okay and i make the determinant of this and this is 0 0 0 minus 0 minus 0 no sorry 0 0 3 k minus 0 minus 0 minus 0 so the solution is 3k what does this mean this means w is going in the k directions upwards because it's positive you see it's plus 3k and its magnitude is 3 if you would uh, measure this length it would be 3 units okay 3 units and the area the area 
of the parallelogram that involves these two vectors u is and v i i draw i draw here a parallel to v and here a parallel to u this parallelogram it's a parallel 2 by 2 and 2 by 2 the area area of this parallelogram is 3 is the magnitude of of this vector of w this is always like that okay so this area it's it is 3 squared units okay so i hope uh, you understood it and uh, you should ask me anything you don't understand okay best regards and hello goodbye ciao ciao